From the National Weather Service in Raleigh, North Carolina, this is Jonathan Blaze with our weekly routine weather briefing for North Carolina. This is covering the period here at the end of October through the 1st of November. So the weather pattern and the weather story for the next week or so uh, at first features a very strong area of high pressure both at the surface and a loft that is uh, stretching across the mid-Atlantic and southeastern United States. It shows up uh, on our weather maps here in the top two panels uh, with the high pressure area uh, just uh, across eastern North Carolina later today and just to our south across Georgia and South Carolina on Friday. That weather feature will kind of extend into the region uh, easily for Saturday and into Sunday. And that's going to result in a period of continued dry weather, uh, fair weather, uh, with uh, well above normal temperatures. Uh, we could have a little bit of patchy fog again tomorrow morning on Friday morning, mainly to the south and east of Raleigh. Uh, much like we had this morning, it'll be, it'll be patchy in areas, but otherwise expect a great deal of sunshine and continued dry weather with above normal temperatures and very pleasant conditions, to be honest with you. As we head though into a uh, late in the weekend, especially on Monday, uh, a cold front that has been lingering across the, the middle of the United States, the Midwest and Ohio Valley, uh, finally begins to push east as the high pressure ridge across our region weakens and shifts away. So as that front approaches on Monday, expect for uh, increasing clouds and perhaps a little bit of uh, more noticeable southwesterly breeze. Uh, but late on Monday, Monday night, and especially into Tuesday, expect a little bit more cloudiness and there is a threat of some rain uh, during that period, uh, that front will push through our area uh, sometime on Wednesday with very chilly high pressure uh, that shows up in our map here for um, uh, Wednesday that's across the central plains extending into our area. And there's a very cold Canadian air mass associated with that. And that's going to bring a uh, potential for some frost across our area toward the middle and end of the upcoming work week. Now, for Halloween specifically, uh, the forecast still has lots of uncertainty. Of course, for most of us, it hasn't rained in about 10 days, uh, and the first chance of rain we're going to get is on Halloween. Uh, right now, though, it looks like that front, in terms of precipitation, uh, will be a bit moisture-starved, and the threat of widespread rain is fairly limited. We don't expect any thunderstorms or anything intense like that, uh, but there is a concern that we could get some patchy rain, especially on uh, uh, Tuesday, Halloween, and Tuesday night. Still lots of questions uh, with this, uh, uh, and the timing is still a bit uncertain. The amount of moisture available is still uncertain, so uh, no need to panic or concern or be real concerned about it, but just know that there uh, is a threat of a little bit of rain uh, at some point right around the late Monday into a Tuesday night range. Uh, regardless, uh, it does look like the front should push through the area uh, uh, at some point uh, late Halloween uh, or into Wednesday, and it will be turning colder and breezier uh, behind the front uh, during that period. As we had a uh, look at the forecast precipitation for the next five days, this extends out until Monday, and not surprising, uh, like we talked about, it's going to be dry across our region. If you look on the panel here in the um, bottom center, this is the precipitation forecast. Uh, for uh, Monday into uh, very early on Halloween morning, and you'll see just some patchy light precipitation upstream of us across the Ohio Valley and Southern Appalachians. This is the rain associated with the front that will be approaching us um, uh, for uh, late Monday and especially on Tuesday. And you can see these amounts here are much lighter uh, than uh, the precipitations falling up there uh, presently. So a good sign that the front uh, will be uh, having decreasing amounts of precipitation over us but still a couple features in there are providing us with a little bit of concern about uh, the timing on that. Looking ahead to severe thunderstorm potential for the next uh, week or so, uh, no thunderstorms really are forecast east of the mountains during this period, so no concern there. And again, dry weather is expected uh, for the next handful of days uh, into the weekend, so no excessive rainfall is expected. Out in the Atlantic, in the tropics, just one system is getting much attention out there, and that is what's called post-tropical cyclone Tammy. Uh, that's located uh, several hundred miles east of Bermuda, and uh, you can see really right in the middle of the Atlantic. Uh, and if you look in the upper right panel here, you can see the forecast track of the system uh, is uh, indicating a westward motion for the next day or two into the weekend. And then as we head later in the weekend and early next week, 
uh, it should start uh, moving east. Uh, no real impacts from that system, not really much in the way of swells, I don't believe either. So uh, um, low impact there in terms of our weather and the tropics, uh, at least in the Atlantic, uh, should be beginning to try to quiet down here as we head into the next couple of weeks. Looking at the 8 to 14 day outlook, uh, this would go into the first full week of November. Uh, the precipitation forecast for that week-long period uh, is uh, indicates uh, uh, chances are uh, that it'll likely be average during that period. But uh, more details that here on the next slide. The first couple days, though, of this period, uh, the second, third, even fourth, temperatures are likely to be well below average or below normal and actually warming up after that. So if you look at the week in total, uh, it just looks like fair weather, uh, nothing too remarkable. But actually, the first couple of days of the period are going to be much below normal with the threat of frost. We'll detail that here in the next slide or so. Uh, and then uh, precipitation chances uh, during that week-long period uh, slightly favor above average precipitation, although given how dry it's been, uh, wouldn't put a lot of faith in a lot of precipitation during that period. And the normal temperatures of the average temperatures uh, they're coming down this time of year. Uh, average highs are now in the upper 60s to uh, around 70 as we head into early November, and average lows are in the lower to um, or uh, yeah, the lower 40s or so across the area. Now, uh, here's an interesting graphic, and bear with me. I'm going to try to explain this, but this is a a, a uh, ensemble uh, model uh, forecast of temperatures during the next 10 days or so. And this forecast on this slide is for Greensboro. And uh, on the top panel are all the individual model forecasts. So essentially there are about a hundred different models that go into this grand ensemble it's called. And so we're looking at a hundred different solutions and forecasts of temperatures as we head out into the next week. And the te temperature range is shown here by this color scale in the middle of the graphic. If you get into the oranges, temperatures are generally um, uh, about 80 or warmer. And if you get into the blues, they're about 45 or below. And you can see for Thursday and Friday, Saturday and Sunday, uh, these are broken up into six hour periods. Uh, so you can see the high temperatures on Thursday feature these yellows and light oranges. And even as we head into Saturday and Sunday, we get uh, quite a few oranges show up here uh, for Greensboro indicating highs in the uh, lower and even mid 80s possible. But then as we head into Monday and especially Tuesday, the forecast switches and we get a lot more blues and these are highlighting the low temperatures and uh, suggesting the dramatic cool down that's expected at the middle of the upcoming work week with kind of the coldest blue color showing up here on Wednesday morning and even a little bit Thursday morning. And I highlighted the forecast here from Wednesday morning, the 100 model solution uh, suggests the uh, temperatures uh, could be as low um, uh, down into the 20s for areas of Greensboro. And in this histogram chart in the bottom, you can see actually the frequency of temperatures in each number. And by and large, of all the model solutions, they most generally point to lows between 30 and 35 on Thursday morning, with more than half of them suggesting that. So this would indicate a growing threat and a pretty good chance of frost across much of the area, especially in the triad area, as we head into Thursday and maybe even Wednesday morning. So be on the lookout for that. While it's going to be warm the next few days, uh, Mother Nature is going to try to even things out as we head into the middle and uh, late part of the upcoming work week. And just for completeness, here's another uh, chart. This one's for Raleigh. The uh, pattern is similar with a warm at first and then some mixed messaging here around the frontal passage time around Halloween and then turning cooler as we head into uh, Thursday and Friday mornings. And you can see here, uh, the histogram shows uh, kind of a blend between 30 and 35 and 35 and 40, so signifying maybe just a little bit warmer here in the triangle area. Takeaway message here is that there is some frost possible, especially on Thursday and Friday mornings of the upcoming week. Weather summary, again, uh, high pressure will result in above average temperatures for the next several days into the weekend. Cold front approaches on Monday, moves through the area we believe on Tuesday with a limited threat of rain. There is a small chance of rain on Halloween. Signals suggest if it occurs, the amounts are likely to be light. Uh, not any heavy rain is expected. Uh, it'll be turning breezy and cooler though, but lots of uncertainty with the timing of that forecast. So come back and uh, listen to free future updates. And it'll turn much cooler with the threat of frost from the middle of the upcoming week. 
Again, our hazards uh, possibly some uh, fog on Friday morning, mainly south and east Raleigh. Near record highs over the weekend uh, with highs in the lower and mid 80s in many locations, lots of uncertainty for Halloween, and then turning colder uh, for the middle of next week with some frost possible. That's it for the weekly briefing recording. I'll stand by through any questions. Otherwise, hope everybody has a good rest of the work week and a great weekend. Enjoy the quiet and warm weather. Uh, fall is uh, uh, moving in and cooler weather is arriving next week. Thanks and uh, take care.